Hello, I'm back. I'm currently running for my Colossal Mario series retrospective and I wanted to make a shorter video to fill in the gap. New Super Mario Bros is one of my favourite games of all time and my favourite part of the game is the 33 bonus minigames. Most of these are taken from Mario 64 DS but a lot of the minigames from that game are omitted. So that's why I also made the choice to include all the Mario 64 DS minigames and rank them from worst to best. I'm also not going to rank the multiplayer games because I have no friends. I don't like doing intro so let's get into it with the worst minigame. Loves me. I highly doubt this is an unpopular opinion because this isn't even a game. All you do is pick off all the pedals to find out if an undisclosed person loves Yoshi. And after picking off all the pedals it will either end on a loves me or a loves me not. Lucky stars. This is the most basic game I've ever seen. Pick a card. If the card's got more stars than Luigi's, you win. You can bet more coins to get more coins when you win, but unlike the poker one where you can bet more if you dealt a good hand, betting really is just a shot in the dark as to if it's worth it or not. Psych out. This is the same idea as Lucky Stars where you have to pick the right card. I do think it's slightly better because the card is slightly see-through allowing you to faintly make out what card it is. But on later levels it gets more opaque basically meaning it's a 50-50 shot. It's a unique idea but it's not really much of a game. Boombox. This is just a memory match game with sounds instead of cards. Picking a chest will play a sound, and you gotta match it with another chest with that same sound. Simple stuff. Also I just gotta say, why is the sound Mario uses when you win the same ones where he touches lava? <laughs> That's fucking creepy, stop- Balloon racing. I'm not sure if this is an unpopular opinion, but there's really nothing to this one. Blow into your DS's microphone to make Yoshi ascend. And on the way to the top, you have to dodge Shy Guys. That's really it, and my main gripe with this minigame is that it's the same experience every time. And it just so happens that that same experience isn't that fun. Memory Match. This is just your basic memory match game. I like this more than Balloon Racing because unlike that game, there is some semblance of replayability since the cards are different every time. Memory Master. Same with the last one except the small cards. But I like it more because you actually get to see some of the cards for a second before they flip back over. Mixer Mug. Rows made up of parts of character heads are scrolling by, and you have to stop them at the right position to make a full head. If you make a full head that matches the one on the top screen, you win. Not much to this one. Hide and Seek. First off, what a terrible name! Hide and Boo Seek? Anyway, this is a mini game where boos move around in the dark and you have to draw on the touchscreen to find them. It's a cool concept, but the 3 second time limit is far too short for later on in the game. And early on in the game, it's just too repetitive to be fun. Trampoline Terror. This is an endless game where you have to draw trampolines to get Mario through these rings. And the smaller the trampoline, the higher Mario will bounce off of it. Later on more Marios get introduced but this one is just really boring. It only gets a leg up of a hide and boo seek because of the pretty art design. Lacquer to launch. You have to shoot spinies into these baskets to contribute to your score. I find the added challenge of the Lakitu's moving to be a cool idea, but it's got the same issue as balloon racing where the movement of the Lakitu's changes rarely removing replayability. Witch Wiggler. Pretty cool idea for a game. The problem is that it's just too hard. You have to pick the wiggler that matches the one on the top. Run out of time and you're dead. Pretty simple idea, but you hardly get enough time, so if you mess up once you're probably screwed. A way to remedy this issue is to get the player 10 seconds on the correct guess rather than 5, but in the state the minigame is in it's not that great. This idea is used much better in a game much later on in the list. whack a monty Just your basic whack a mole Nothing particularly interesting, like as many Monty Moles as you can and avoid hitting Luigi. Bounce and Trance There's three separate Marios in the sky for some reason and you have to get them to bounce on the Shy Guys to accumulate points. You can bounce the Marios to keep them on screen by tapping them on the touch screen. This game is endless so the game ends when three Marios fall off the screen. The problem I have with this minigame is that it's simply too easy to bump your head on Shy Guys above. Bumping their heads on Shy Guys stops you from bouncing them for a second and it's super obnoxious. Trampoline Time it's a similar concept to Trampoline Terror, but rather than going through these rings, you have to get the Marios to one of two areas. A problem a problem I've always had with this minigame is that three Marios at once is simply too much to handle. Mario Slot. It's slots. Like Lucky Stars, the betting feature makes no sense to be here if you have nothing to help you make a guess beforehand. So why is it here? Super Mario Slot. What a fucking waste. This is just the last one with more wilds. Which I suppose does make it better considering it's easier to do good making it more rewarding. But seriously, what a waste. Snowball Slalom. You swipe on the touchscreen to move the snowball and get to the end in under 20 seconds. It's not that fun. I like the idea of dodging things in a straight path to get to the end, but I'm not a fan of the forced touch controls. Also, this tiny ass rock shouldn't completely halt the snowball. Giant Snowball Slalom. Another waste of a game. It's Snowball Slalom but with a longer level and penguins. Crazy. Bounce and pounce. 
As the name implies, this is similar to Bats and Trance, with the only difference here being that it's a level based opposed to continuous. I do think that makes it better because your game isn't immediately bombarded with shy guys. Intense concentration. Coins fall down from the top of the screen, and you have to pay attention to which blocks the coins go into. Tap a block you remember a coin going into and avoid the ones without any coins. If you pick a block that has no coins in it, it's game over. It has the same issue as trampoline time where it's simply too much to handle. It's near impossible to get a block. Concentration. This is just the same as the last one but with more coins, which I actually think makes it better considering it's easier to get a good score, and that in turn makes it more rewarding to play. Slot Shot. You have to launch a ball into the board at the right speed to accumulate the most points. You should aim for the pipe since that's how the titular slots are used. Kinda of fun, but I'm not a fan of your score being decided by slots. Connect the characters. In this game you have to draw lines to guide these heads to their respective bodies. I'm not a fan of the fact that you can choose whenever you want the heads to move, because theoretically if you plan the lines out for long enough you will never lose. It's a cool idea for a game it's a cool idea for a game but it's used much better in Mario Slides. With the bottom screen you draw lines to guide the Mario head to the star. If you touch a piranha plant you're immediately game over, which I question the decision of since it's a bit too harsh. The Mario head also moves a bit too quickly, so slow it down slightly and give the player 3 lives instead of 1 and you have yourself a great minigame. Bingo Ball Like Slot Shot, you have to launch a ball just right to get the most points possible. I do think it's slightly better though because nothing is decided by chance, but I do find it hard to gauge where the ball will land just from speed alone. Shuffle Shell This is essentially just curling where you have to whack a shell with this paddle to get it in the right spot. You get 5 chances and if you hit a shell you previously hit, the score will be calculated once again for that shell since you moved it. I'm not that good at this one but it's still kinda fun. Shell Smash Like Shuffle Shell but rather than trying to get the shell in the right spot, you need to hit it into others to get points. Hitting green shells into each other will multiply the points gained by 10. I swear this game is built for people with short attention spans but for me, it's a Tox Box Shuffle Yoshi is seen under a box and the boxes are shuffled. You have to keep track of the box Yoshi was in so when it's time to choose you can pick the right one. Later levels add more than one Yoshi and you have to pick the one the game tells you to pick. It's super rewarding when the second Yoshi gets added. I'd say this is the start of the good games. Mushroom Roulette A ball gets spun around a roulette board and it's your job to bet what slot the ball will land in. You get 5 coins to bet with and you can even bet on 2 slots at once at the cost of getting half the coins if you win. Once again the betting feature doesn't exactly make sense as a game here but it is more fun to put your coins into position. Plus it's more rewarding considering you get more coin. Paragon. Luigi lays out a set of 20 cards and you have to match them with an adjacent card. If you don't plan ahead you can get into a position where there's no more matches you can make and at that point it's game over. The reason I like this minigame over the others is it's quite rewarding to clear out the entire deck of cards. I don't know I just like it. Paragon and on. This is the same as the last one but endless. Though it's more engaging to me considering there's more suits added over time. Danger Bob Bomb Danger You have to drag a Bob Bomb around an enclosed space and dodge many fireballs. The Bowser statue on the top screen will periodically shoot a beam of fireballs but that's basically it. Not a bad thing because this is the start of the really good minigames. Wanted The top screen will show a mugshot and you have to find the corresponding character on the bottom. But I swear Luigi pops up more often than the other three. I really like this one but I do not remember it being this easy. It's a super solid game and probably the most well known minigame out of the 18 here. But it only reaches 5 for me because 1, as I said it's too easy. And 2, this goddamn 8 no beat that continues for all the time. Sword Explode. I guess Baz is into segregation or something because this minigame has you putting bob bombs into their corresponding areas designated by colour. Eventually it gets to the point where there's like 10 bombs on screen and I just can't do it. I'm not that good at this one but props for making me have tons of fun at a basic game I'm not even good at. Bob Bomb Squad This has the same slingshot mechanic as Lakitu launch but used in a much better way. Bombs descend slowly through the sky and you have to slingshot a ball at them to knock them out. If 4 bar bombs reach your flowers, you're dead. Lakitu will occasionally appear at the top of the screen and if you hit him it's a screen nuke. This one can get very frantic and I love it for that. But I wish Lakitu was harder to hit because like 1 out of 5 times I end up hitting him accidentally. But this is a great one. Puzzle Panel A board made up of tiles is shown on the top screen and on the bottom you have to replicate it. Tapping a tile will flip it but will also flip all the adjacent tiles making for some really smart puzzles. You only have a select amount of moves on each level and if you run out, you'll lose a life. Unlike the dumbass sliding Mario head game, you have 3 lives on each level meaning you don't immediately lose once you get something wrong. I'm like the smartest dude on planet Earth, so I really like this one. Puzzle Panic This is the same as the last one but bigger. That sounds lame but it does make it more rewarding to play. And the number one minigame in New Super Mario Bros is... Picture Poker If you think it's something else you are extremely stupid. It's poker. You get to all 5 cards at the start with different icons corresponding to their value, which is shown at the side. And you have the option to get rid of a few cards if you want a better hand. And after you choose what cards to get rid of, you'll get dealt more cards. 
If you have a better hand than Luigi after that, you win. You can bet up to 5 coins by tapping this button, and this is the only minigame where it makes sense. Because you can bet more if you dealt a good hand instead of it just being a shot in the dark. But I swear Luigi's a little cheating bastard in this game. Best game though, 10 out of 10. Now that I've ranked them all, let's see the averages for each category. And god damn, I was not expecting Mario to win. Because while he doesn't at all have bad minigames, the only true highlights for me were Danger Bob, I'm Danger, and Sword Explode. I was expecting Luigi to win. I mean, he had Picture Poker, both Paragon games, and Mushroom Roulette. That's four games I consider truly great, especially Picture Poker. But at the same time, he did have a game at the bottom three, and three games in the bottom ten. I'm not too shocked about Yoshi's category. Sure, he had both Puzzle Panel games and Wanted, which are all fantastic games. But outside that, there's Toxbox Shuffle, which I'd say is remarkable, but not a favorite. And then there's Witch Wiggler, Hide and Boost Seek, Mixer Mug, Boombox, and of course Loves Me, which are mediocre at best and not even a game at worst. But I didn't expect Yoshi to be last, because my god, Wario's category would be in dead last if it wasn't for Bob Bomb Squad. Second place in Wario's category was fucking Bingo Ball at 14th overall, and the rest of the games in his category were at the middle of the list, with the exclusion of Lakitu Launch and Psych Out. I actually calculated the average of that Bob Bomb Squad, and it ended up at 15.7, which is a huge downgrade. Anyway, what are your favourite minigames? Are you a person with over 20 IQ and think Picture Poker is the best one? Or are you a psycho who for some reason likes Mixamug the most? Make sure to tell me in the comments. Bye!